On that top story, the breakthrough from Australian scientists in the fight against coronavirus. For more, national medical reporter Sophie Scott joins us from Sydney. Good morning, Sophie. Tell me, this seems to be incredibly significant. What does it mean? Yes, look, it is very significant and it's not often that you see scientists very excited, but uh, that's the, certainly the case with the scientists from the Doherty Institute. Now, the reason it's important is because China has had the only copy of the virus and they released some images, but they wouldn't release the actual virus to the World Health Organization. And so now the researchers at the Doherty Institute have created a copy of the virus itself. And this is important because it means that it will speed up testing for the, the virus. At the moment, all people who are tested, it has to go through this lab in Melbourne. They'll be able to send it out to labs, not only across Australia, but also across the world. And the other important reason is that they are working towards a vaccine um, and they'll be able to now use this virus, this copy of the virus, to test those vaccines to see if they work. So uh, let's hear from the lead scientist, Dr Julian Drews from the Doherty Institute. We got our first patient on Friday and we have successfully grown the virus from that patient. This will be a game changer for other labs within Australia. It's been 10, 12 hour days and 2 a.m. finishes and things like that. So it's been pretty full on. So Sophie, if they've got the copy of this virus, what do they do next? So what they'll do next is it'll all go through the, given this is an international um, epidemic that we're dealing with, it'll all go through the World Health Organization. So as I mentioned, they, they didn't have a copy of the virus itself. So now through you know, very strict biosecurity, they'll be able to send a copy of the virus to the World Health Organization in Europe, and they'll then distribute it across the world. And this will really make a huge difference because you know, the, the sooner people can be tested and either quarantined, then we can contain the spread of the virus. The other thing that's important with this is that they can develop a test to see if someone might actually have the virus, but they don't have any symptoms. And that's important because at the moment they're looking for people with symptoms, but they'll be able to track you know, people who might, not, might have the virus sort of silently, but not show any symptoms. So that's an important um, breakthrough that'll come from this discovery at the Doherty Institute as well. And as we go to air this morning, Sophie, I understand you've got some new stats from the WHO. That's right. Look, literally just before, before I came on, um, the World Health Organization has released their latest statistics. So globally, the number of cases, it's 4,593 across the world, and of that, 4,537 are in China. But what's interesting in these stats is that there's a further suspected cases of almost another 7,000 cases in China. So you can imagine if, if those suspected cases prove to have the virus, then that would significantly increase the number of cases in China. Um, the, the important thing to remember though for people in Australia is there's, there's four people in New South Wales, one in Victoria, and of those patients, they're all in a very stable condition in hospital. In fact, one of them is actually well enough to leave, but has to stay for quarantine reasons. And there's been no human to human transmission in Australia. And that's really important because all these people in Australia who've got the virus have either been to Wuhan in China or had direct contact with someone who was in Wuhan. So that's important to just reassure people while the numbers might be growing overseas, it's still relatively stable and under control here in Australia. Sophie Scott, thanks.